happy Monday. Today is a nice day outside. It's actually kind of chilly, but I'm sure it's gonna warm up later on today. It's early, it's 7.15. We just took Bob out to go walk. I'm gonna make my first cup of coffee of the day and make myself a quick breakfast. I'm starving, I woke up so hungry. Lately, I've just been waking up hungry and so breakfast is a must, especially today because I'm taking my parents to a doctor's appointment this morning um, again and then probably another follow-up tomorrow morning. So it's gonna be kind of one of those weeks where it throws off my routine, but it's all right, it's just, Part of life you roll with what you got and um, just keep on going so I'm gonna do that and do some laundry rotation but coffee coffee first I'm gonna use this one queen of absolutely everything yes all right let's get this day started So, so, so good. This is uh, the pe Texas Pecan from HB. It smells so good. You guys, if you have an HB nearby, get it. Try it out. If you don't have an HB nearby, go to HB.com. I'm sure you can order it online. yet. Uh, I'm gonna prep some lunches today because since we're gonna be at the doctor's office, the kids are gonna get hungry. So I'm gonna prep some quick lunchables, those homemade lunchables that I made last week. I'm gonna make some today to take on my little bag and they can snack on that while we're there. When we get home, if they're hungry, we'll eat something. If not, we'll, we'll wait for dinner, but that would be our lunch time anyway, so they'll eat lunchables for lunch. of laundry that I have waiting for me here in the laundry room. I think it's my son's um, stuff, so I'll fold his stuff. That way that's done before I leave. Great for 
traveling, we're gonna go out on top of town and eat some snacks in the car. It's cool, it's insulated, so hopefully it'll keep our food nice and cool in there. So yeah. So it is 6.30 and I just got back from uh, taking my parents to the doctor's office. And that took a while, a long while. So I'm now making dinner. I'm making lasagna for dinner. And my niece came and she preheat, she uh, browned the Italian turkey and beef. And so I'm gonna put the lasagna together now. Ah, but yeah, that was a long day. Long day, sat down the whole time we were there, just sitting down waiting. That was a long wait. Ah, I'll be back. Lasagna guys, sorry I didn't show you how I did it, but it was a layer of tomato sauce, whatever sauce you prefer. I use, um, let me show you what brand I use. I just use the Italian style petite diced tomatoes, any brand, this is a great value brand. And then I also add a can, a small can of tomato paste. And then I heat that up, let it cook together for about five minutes, no longer, doesn't need to be cooked that long. And then I do my layers. I do a layer of noodles and I use no bake ready oven ready noodles because they're faster and easier to go. So you do a layer of sauce, you put your noodles, you put your meats. I use ground beef and Italian sausage. Then I put dollops of cottage cheese and then a layer of mozzarella. And then I continue another layer of noodles, tomato sauce, meats, and cheeses. Another noodle another and then another layer of noodles. It, this was a three-layer. Um, lasagna that's how much my oven would fit but this is it let me know in the description below in the comments below if you would like for me to do it step by step it's just we're really starving we got I just got home not too long ago and uh, I needed to get this in the oven and ready to serve because everyone's hungry oh, church? Ah! okay so we're gonna eat dinner I made a salad and some garlic bread so dinner is ready I will see you all tomorrow Good morning happy Tuesday Heading out, taking my parents to a follow-up from yesterday's procedure, so I'm hoping it doesn't take all day like it did yesterday because I have plans to take my kids to the movies this afternoon while the cleaning lady comes in and takes care of things here around the house. So we'll see, because I don't think the kids are gonna wanna wait at the doctor's office another day. So. See you guys later. Happy Wednesday. Oh. My battery's gonna die. Uh, gonna be my lemon cake. Um, going for you doing some uh, make this every computer work um, before the kids get, get up. Actually, my girls are already up. Oh my goodness, I haven't even. I've had a crazy Monday and Tuesday this week. Didn't record too much because I was pretty much waiting at doctor's offices. Yesterday, it didn't take too long, but after that, we went to the movies, took the kids to the movies, and then we came back home and, you know, started. They started the mom life here at home. So it is Wednesday. We have church tonight. I am planning on doing our white bean chicken chili for dinner tonight, which is so good. I've done it once and it was a hit, at least with my husband and I. My kids aren't crazy about that, but I'll make them some grilled cheese sandwiches or something. I'm gonna finish this uh, paperwork here, then go get myself put together and it'll be cereal for breakfast today. Or maybe I'll make some breakfast. I don't know, we'll see. I think it'll be cereal. And uh, yeah, so happy Wednesday. You can see it's very windy. It's very breezy and windy, like super breezy. It's not a good hair day today. Might just keep my hair up in a ponytail. I don't know. We will see. So, showered. I'm not gonna do my makeup or hair until I'm done with catching up with my missed laundry rotations from this week. So you can see I have a pile of laundry needs to be folded and put away there. I have some stuff I think in the dryer. I'm not sure. I don't know where I'm at, so uh, yeah. Monday and Tuesday were a blur, and uh, I need to get back on track. So that's what I'm doing. I have some laundry here with me. Just drop the t-shirt. I'm gonna throw this in the washer. Whatever's in the washer, I'm gonna throw in the, lawn, in the dryer. I don't know if there's anything in the dryer right now, but I will check, and if there is, it needs to come out and be put away. So let's do that. Uh, 
um, needs to go out. My son's gonna take him out. I'm gonna start folding the other laundry and uh, catch up with this this laundry. Oh, and Gloria wants some cereal, so let's get Gloria some cereal. You ready for some cereal, Mama? You want Cheerios? Yeah. Is that what you want? Oh, is that a new movie coming out? I don't know. But yeah, it's a new movie that's gonna come out soon. Let's fold some laundry. I am gonna get tackle this load here, and I have a mess on my desk because I'm working on some cutouts that I need to take to church tonight for the kiddos. And uh, yeah, so let's fold some laundry and watch something on YouTube. about 11.40, so I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven for today's DiGiorno pizza, our weekly DiGiorno pizza lunch. It's Wednesday, we have church tonight. Let's keep it simple, keep it plain, keep it easy. Pay the plates, preheat the oven. Since the oven's gonna be on, why not throw some of these in there? Chocolate chip lovers. This is uh, the Toll House Ultimates. Uh, cookie dough with semi-sweet milk chocolate chips and chocolate chunks. So, yeah. let's put some of these in there. I burned the cookies. Are you dead? Well, they're overcooked. They might still be good. Let's All right, not too bad. They're crispier than I like, but wow. they're actually not bad. All right. Mm. Uh -huh. They're hot. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen now. It is four o'clock, I'm gonna start getting dinner ready. And uh, it's a little early, but I just wanna have it ready because we do have church tonight and I just don't wanna be in a hurry. But I am doing the white chicken, white bean chicken chili. I've done this before, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this recipe. I'm going to laminate it. And I do have a binder that I bought on sale at Walmart. So here's my weekly uh, meal plan or menu. I'm gonna add this to the recipe book so that whenever I need it, it's there ready to go. So. This is a crock pot recipe. I'm not gonna do it in the crock pot. I'm just gonna do it in my regular pot on the stove top. I'm gonna use all the ingredients that they have here and cook it on the, on the stove top. So right now I'm boiling my chicken breast. As soon as they're done and ready to go, I'm gonna shred them and then I'm going to add all the other ingredients that the crock pot recipe calls for and I'll let that simmer over medium, uh, medium to high heat for about 30 minutes and it'll be ready to go. So these are the ingredients that I need for this recipe. It does call, does call for jalapenos, but I'm gonna leave those out because it might be too spicy for my kids. And uh, so let me show you the, the ingredients. So obviously chicken breast, that's boiling right now, right there in my pot. I will need some chicken stock or chicken broth, a can of great northern beans or any white beans, a can of diced green chilies, salt, cumin and pepper, I will need some corn, so I have a small bag of frozen corn that I'm gonna throw in. I like to use frozen rather than canned. I just like the flavor better. And half of this uh, onion. And that is all this recipe calls for. Put it all together into one pot and you have an amazing white bean chicken chili. It's super good, I love this chili. I've done it once already and I'm gonna do it again because it's that good. So, I'm gonna continue boiling the chicken, let that uh, get ready and I'll, I'll be
Thursday, friends. It is Thursday, starting my late, my day kind of late today. It's already nine o'clock. I'm just making breakfast uh, for me, my kiddos, my husband just went to work. Some mornings we just uh, like to chat. We talk and we just catch up um, with what's going on at work with him and what's going on here at home. And we just catch up and sometimes if he needs lifting up, I lift him up and if I need lifting up, he lifts me up. And so, it was just one of those mornings where we just had some things to say and um, that's all it was. So now I am back on track with my day here at home. My husband's already at work or on his way to work and ready to start Thursday, normal day. Homeschooling this afternoon. I'm making bacon eggs, probably some pancakes. Um, I need to get back on track with my nutrition because I've been, um, you know, enjoying all the good sweets and I am making pancakes and I don't know if I can say no to pancakes this morning because they sound really good. Um, but yeah, it's a Thursday and so I'm going to just uh, do what I do and enjoy my day. So it's already 11 o'clock. I am ready for the day. It took a little while longer this morning. Just needed a little bit of time of refreshing. And so I still have this kitchen with breakfast mess and I need to get that cleaned up. But just this morning, the Lord was just speaking to me and I had since last night the verse, um, well done my good and faithful servant. And then the story of Ruth in my heart and I'm like trying to put things together. And lately I've been kind of, uh, you know, overwhelmed with the whole motherhood thing and having to do things every single day the same way. You know, it gets a little, a little boring sometimes and you kind of get kind of lack of motivation and, and so you have to encourage yourself in the word so you can get back to what you need to do around the house and so that verse uh just really really uh echoed in my heart well done good and faithful servant and the word faithful would pop out and it's like just show up show up consistently show up consistently show up consistently show up every single day and the lord will bless you and then so the story of ruth just comes into my mind it's like she showed up every single day even when she was heartbroken because her husband had died and she's taking care of her mother-in-law and her mother-in-law is not a happy person because she even changed her name to uh, a word that means uh, bitterness and so she's having to walk with a person that's not probably probably not very positive and she just lost her husband too and so she's away from home, but she shows up consistently every time she goes out into the fields to gather food for themselves. And in one of those days, Boaz sees her. And he falls in love with her and they marry. And she happens to be in the, in the lineage of Jesus. You know, it was, uh, I believe, their son who becomes the grandfather of King David. And generations on the line, Jesus is born. So if you're just consistent every day, just show up every day with a grateful heart and a just joyfulness and just build yourself up, encourage yourself up in those moments where you just feel overwhelmed, when you feel like, oh, uh, you're just bored. You know, God has, God's word speaks life into you. And so if you can just seek him in those moments so that you can continue to show up every day with a faithful heart, the blessing will come. You know, the blessing comes every single day when your children smile at you, when your children hug you, when, when your husband comes home and then and, and says, you know, love the food you made today. It's just, um, sometimes you just need to encourage yourself in the Lord and just be faithful in what you have been called to do as a mom. So, I just had that in my mind and I needed to just share with you guys. Hopefully it speaks to you. And I need to get this, this kitchen absolutely clean done I had those are clean dishes I need to put away from last night and these are obviously dirty dishes from breakfast this morning and uh, so yeah I just had a, I just needed some more uh, an extra time this morning just to refresh myself and encourage myself in the Word of God and I am ready to go now I am filled in spirit sorry if I sound crazy but that's just the way it is so let's get things done
my dinner ready. It's only, it's about to be four o'clock. It's kind of early, but I want to get dinner started early so I can be ready to eat by the time my husband gets home because Sarah has singing lessons an hour early today. And that way he's not hungry at singing lessons and he can eat before we leave. Today I'm making burgers. So let me just show you how I do my burgers. Super simple, keep them very, very simple. Let me just lower this down. And so, right here, all I have is some ground beef. I haven't added anything to it. It's just ground beef. This is uh, 93.7, I think that's what it is, percent. And I cut parchment paper into little squares. And what I do is I get a quarter of a cup of beef. I'm making small burgers because I bought the small buns. And I just, uh, right here I have a few uh, patties already made, so I kind of just squish them down with my hands to make a small little patty. Uh, we like our patties nice and thin. There is a place here where we live here in Texas called Whataburger, and their patties are very, very thin, or a lot thinner than some patties. So we kind of like their burgers. So when I do this, it makes them nice and thin, and then as I'm layering them, well, as I'm layering the, and I'm pressing down, they get thinner. So that is how I do our burger patties. And uh, I don't season them until they're ready to get on the grill or on the pan. And I just season them with salt, pepper, and a little bit of uh, garlic powder. Whatever you want them spicy, do a spicy seasoning. I also have some ranch. You can do the ranch on it. Whatever you like, it's gonna go. It's gonna be good. Cayenne pepper. So that is the prepping of dinner today. We got the potato wedges ready for the oven. I got our hamburger patties waiting for the pan to get nice and hot and sizzling. something we don't know yet it's 7:42 right now and I'm super hungry so I'm gonna get my day started I have a load drying in the washer I'm gonna do one more load today to, to get my weekend started without any crazy loads of laundry because I do not do laundry on the weekend that's I don't do laundry rotation on the weekends unless it absolutely has to be done but if I can keep it during the week then I'm okay in the weekend so Take my girl 
girls out to lunch and then go meet um, my son at my husband's shop and pick him up early today. I'm gonna wrap this video up for this week. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed Easter Sunday. Know that you guys are incredibly loved. You guys are amazing. And I just wanna let you know that I love you guys. And uh, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend with your family. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Press the little bell to get notified for new videos. And you guys have a blessed, blessed day. Bye. I haven't made my coffee yet, people. That's crazy, it's nine o'clock and I haven't, had, I haven't had one cup of coffee. My day started. Join me. Why won't you join me? Come on, let's do this. Okay, it is Friday, my son's on his, is getting ready to get. My son. Okay. <sighs> and so if it's 24 hours,